Hi, this is Bill, the Techno Gypsy at the Technog Mobile CP. Today we're going to talk about how to connect the output of a podcast that contains digital content and use that as the input into FL Digi. The product that I'm going to be looking at is called Virtual Audio Cable uh, that I work with quite often in my work with software defined radios. First thing we need to do is get to the internet, do a search. On virtual audio cable and you'll come up with the official site now there are free versions that you can get out there that are actually from different companies one of the products is called VB audio cable it works fairly well but it doesn't work well in the applications that I work in with the software defined radios so let's click the link go to the site here you have to purchase this product it's $25 for the basic system that uh, does not provide support. If you want basic support, it's $35. If you use a trial version, it does throw in a watermark that's an audio watermark that can actually interfere with what you're doing. So go ahead and download this product, go through how to install, and go ahead and put it into your system. Now as we start working with our system, we have to know how to configure virtual audio cable correctly. So I'm going to go to settings, go to devices, scroll down, click on device manager, and I've come down here to the sound video and game controller and it shows me the make and basically model of the sound card that's within my laptop. So now I can come back over here in the search window and I type real and I come up with my Realtek HD audio manager click on that I'm going to come into default format and this actually shows me the different settings I can have on my sound card from 44.1 kilohertz on standard CD quality all the way up to 192 kilohertz 24 bits for studio quality for the work I do on software defined radios I take it up to the studio quality at 192 kilohertz. Now we go ahead and click out of this. I have virtual audio cable already installed and I have it in a folder called radio apps. One of the things you need to do is be aware that you need to right click on virtual audio cable, do a run as administrator to actually be able to configure the product. Now when we go into setting up the configuration, the first thing you have up here is how many cables do you want that you can actually set up for your systems that you're working with. Keep in mind that the cables are unidirectional. So basically think of them as half duplex. If you need input and output, it'd be two cables. I usually run with four. You select the number and hit set. Then we come down here and click on the first cable and I've set my sample rate here at 8,000 minimum and I take it to the maximum of 192,000. So this was the top setting on my sound card. This means that the cable can adjust to any input from 8,000 samples per second up to 192,000 samples per second. Then I come over here to the bits per sample and I set that at the minimum of 8 bits and move the maximum to 32. Now when I come up here I have to do a set on that cable and then I can select the next cable, do a set on it, and continue on onto all four cables. After you have them configured you can exit the application because it's set up as a driver on your system. So now we're going to open up FL Digi. Within FL Digi, I'm going to clear the screen here first. We go to Configure Sound Card. Now, on the different selections you've got on Port Audio, we're going to come down and instead of using a standard input that would be off of your HF or UHF VHF transceiver, we come down to the Windows Direct Sound Devices and I have Line 1 Virtual Audio Cable. Let's go ahead and click that. So that is the end of the audio cable. Now I can close this. I need to come over here 
to my speaker control and go to playback devices. Right now, speakers is set as my output for my podcast. Now I want to change it to line one, set it as a default, and now I have digitally connected the output of the podcast that will go directly into the input into FL Digi. So now I need to come back here. I'm going to open up the Amron page. Give it here just a minute to open. I come down to the Partisan Radio Volume 33, click on it. down here is the player. Now under Windows 10 I had some problems initially to get this player to show up. There's a small icon that appears up here in the upper right hand corner of the browser. Click on it and you can enable this player to actually show if you have a problem. Now I've listened to this before so I know that the MT63 is down towards the end. So I'm going to move the slider down to about right there. Let's say 20. So now I can go ahead and hit the play and I come over here to FL Digi and I'm actually seeing the audio come in. Now FL Digi may be set on its frame size that it's looking for for MT63 as an example up here. What you want to do as soon as you see these you move it into here to get the system to start synchronizing to the MT63 header. Once it synchronizes, the data will start flowing. You'll see the transmission starting there at the top. This is the OTP test that was sent out on the podcast. Alright, that's it. It shows that we can actually have an interconnection between the output of the podcast taking it into FL Digi without a problem. This is Techno Gypsy signing off. 7-3 to everyone. Thank you.